Hey, welcome to this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. My buddy Logan here, who doesn't want to be here. <laughs> That's only appropriate because the beer we're reviewing kind of mentions them. So this is called Kitten Summer Ale. Great cartoon there. It's from Fat Orange Cat Brew Co. They're out of Connecticut. They're calling this an American Pale Wheat Ale with citrus and spices, 5% ABV. No canning date that I can comprehend. All right, this gives me a chance to use my... American wheat beer glass, which I haven't used in a long time. This, I believe this glass was invented just for this style. It's a huge, it's a huge glass, but the beer itself is, I probably caught like kind of an orange apricot color, um, hazy, but not as hazy as an IPA, and you get a pretty big, you know, white whipped frothy foam on there. Let's give it a smell. Yeah, it definitely smells like lime peel, lemon peel. Yeah, very citrusy. It kind of smells like Sprite, you know, lemon lime. <laughs> I don't know, like, what... They don't mention the spices. It just says with spices. Um, maybe, like, some kind of coriander, because, like, it kind of goes with the uh, citrus character there, like a whip beer. A nice, fresh, citrusy smell. It smells like Lysol or you know, something like that. So let's see what this one's about. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, it has a kind of a Sprite kind of taste to it. I would definitely, if I was judging this to spec, I think it would be like under spice or vegetable beer, not 1D, I think, American wheat beer. We don't see too many American wheat beers anymore. Like Three Floyds, Gumball Head, um, Southern Tier, Hop Sun, those kind of like invented the style. So, I mean, this is, and like, this is not claiming to be a hazy IP. I would not even call it hoppy at all. What, those citrusy spices are definitely driving the car on this one. Yeah, it seems to be lemon, lime, and orange. It has like a slight kind of orange sherbet taste to it. Could also be like dry hopped with like Amarillo or something. Um, and what's kind of ironic is that, you know, for like a wheat beer, this one doesn't have like the thick, gritty mouthfeel of like the hazy IPAs, which many do use wheat in them to like thicken it up and cloud it up the more i drink this the more orange it gets because like it smelled lemon lime but i'm tasting orange um a little bit of like um tangerine or uh tangelo or mandarin orange those little tiny ones almost a uh, sweet kind of orange sweet you know uh curacao orange peel i believe it's called um yeah, so this it's kind of like a wit beer, but without the coriander. It's imagine like a wit beer with like all orange peel. Um, nothing in the way of like yeast esters, though. Like I would not. There's no banana in this. There's no clove, as far as I can tell. Uh, I really don't taste the wheat. Oddly enough, this has a fairly neutral malt base, and like the hops. If there are hops on here, like they're not, I mean, obviously there's hops in here, but like the hops on, this is not the usual fat orange cat, which makes hazy IPAs. This is actually, for them, it's actually quite, quite different. But I will say it is really refreshing. Like I'm like really restraining myself because I just want to like guzzle this whole thing right now. It's that refreshing. Um, you know, so 5% ABV, it's not a super heavy, strong beer. I probably the mouthfeel at about medium light and the carbonation moderately high. Which I think helps like make it like a little bit more refreshing. It doesn't have that you know milkshake or gritty you know smooth texture of a hazy. It's actually a little bit more crisp. Not that it's not smooth. It is. It's just not quite as crisp as a lager, but it's not nearly as smooth and creamy as like a hazy. This is a good summer beer. It's kind of basic. I like the refreshing quality of it. I think this is like a good. You know, barbecue beer, especially imagine you're at a barbecue and you're just like holding this can. Everybody's going to want to see what that label's about, you know. Another cute label from Fat Orange Cat. Um, I did not get a Swan of Tavor. I got that Total Wine. Oh, where did I put the receipt? Oh, it's fairly cheap. This was only three ninety nine for this one can. Anything under like 4 bucks a can, especially 16 ounce, that is a steal these days. So I like this one. I don't love it. It's To me, it's a pretty standard summer beer. I'd like... I'm actually a little surprised they didn't go a little bit more and like the, you know, hop forward kind of thing. But it's nice to see a uh, American uh, wheat beer 
come back because these are really, really rare this, these days. I'm going to give this one a solid 7 out of 10. Maybe 6.5, somewhere around there. It's good. It's okay. It's not great. Um, I do like the drinkability on it, though. That one's nice. All right, I'm rambling. If you watch all the way in, you're awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the podcast. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs>